Should you move to the greater Iowa City area? Well, a lot of people are. Is everybody happy with their decision? Well, that depends. I hear from folks all the time who are thinking about moving to the Iowa City area, either as my role as their realtor while I'm helping them through the process of buying a home, or through my YouTube channel, which reaches thousands of viewers a month and receives a ton of comments from people far and wide in this world. Some of which are honest questions, comments, and observations, and others which are, let's just call them interactions that are interesting. As always, it is my end goal to help people make informed decisions when it comes to buying and selling real estate. And I want you to have an accurate picture of the Iowa City Metro before you uproot your life to move here. So I'm gonna to touch on five topics about the Iowa City area, which may or may not be news to you. I'm gonna start with easy ones, and then I'm gonna get more controversial as I progress down the list. And I will be talking about some things that can make people uncomfortable, including politics, race, and LGBTQ culture and inclusion. Okay, this one's pretty mild, but it's something that each and every one of us deals with on a daily basis. The weather. Oh my gosh, Iowa and the weather. When it is hot, it can be really hot and stinking humid. And when it's cold, it is bitter and gray, gray for days and days on end to the point of seasonal affective disorder being no joke. Don't discount the wind. Iowa is an insanely windy state and that wind can really grate on your nerves. Sometimes it seems like we only get a handful of perfect weather days a year. Now, while most Iowans are pretty accustomed to the weather thrown at us, each winter storm, the roadways are a cautionary tale of what happens when you don't make good choices. And by good choices, I mean things like driving in poor conditions unless you absolutely have to, not giving yourself sufficient stopping distance, and not making sure you have a good set of tires on your vehicle designed to handle the road conditions. If you're the kind of person that really hates winter or you need that moderate sunny climate to make you happy, you are going to struggle with what the weather is here. Two, the schools. The greater Iowa City area is known for quality public education, but in most cases, you don't have a choice in which public school your child attends. It's determined by school zone and address. So if you have very strong opinions about which schools are acceptable to you or not, you need to be deliberate about which neighborhoods you house shop in. Keep in mind that school boundaries are not set in stone and the school district can and has reconfigured boundaries to work towards schools with more balanced socioeconomic metrics. I frequently see people asking for opinions about schools on social media platforms, which can be a good way of getting like a, a boots on the ground opinion, as long as you listen carefully. Sometimes people spout out opinions which are not based on their own personal experience and really seem to be code for racist attitudes. Online school rankings that you find on the internet are heavily weighted towards standardized test scores, and I encourage you to view those with a grain of salt. There is a lot more that goes into making a good school than just a test. Some things like community, depth of teacher experience, diversity, strength of extracurricular programs, class size and parental involvement all matter and they are much more difficult to quantify. Number three, let's talk about politics. If you move to Iowa City, you are going to be living next to people that are different than you, people who think differently than you, people who vote differently than you. Iowa currently has a Republican governor and voted Republican in the 2016 and 2020 presidential elections, which could leave you to believe that the state is red. Not so much here in the greater Iowa City area. Iowa City is liberal. In fact, 70.6% of Johnson County residents voted Democratic in the 2020 election. And the general political climate here in Iowa City is going to feel very liberal to a lot of people, especially those coming from more conservative areas. That doesn't mean that everybody here is a hardcore Democrat though. There are plenty of people with conservative political leanings and some of them are vocal about it, while others may feel the need to be a bit more private in their personal politics 
so as not to rock the boat with the folks they interact with daily. Number four, let's talk about progressivism and the advocacy of social reform. In 2007, Iowa added class protections for sexual orientation and gender identity to its Civil Rights Act. And in 09, the Iowa Supreme Court voted unanimously to legalize same-sex marriage, making Iowa the third state in the country to do so. It wasn't until 2015 when the U.S. Supreme Court struck down any remaining state bans on same-sex marriages, legalizing same-sex marriages in all 50 states. Iowa City has held a top ranking of 100 or higher for eight consecutive years in the Human Rights Campaign Foundation Municipal Equality Index, a tool which is used by municipal officials, policymakers, and business leaders to measure communities' LGBTQ inclusion in their laws, policies, and services. The Advocate has listed Iowa City amongst the gayest cities in America, and the national average score on that Municipal Equality Index is only 67. What this means, again, is that here in the greater Iowa City area, you might live next to a family that looks very different than yours, and you'll find that many folks here are pretty outspoken in their live and let live attitude. Number five, Iowa is a pretty white state. In fact, it comes in as number 42 of 50 in diversity, which makes it the ninth least diverse state in the nation. The most recent demographics show that statewide Iowa is 90% white. Iowa City is somewhat more diverse with 75.7% .7 of the population identified as white, 7.3% black, 7.9% Asian, 6% Hispanic, 2.5% two or more races, 0.2 Native American and 0.2 Pacific Islander. These statistics vary a little bit for Coralville and North Liberty, but the overall picture will show you that the Iowa City Metro is more diverse than Iowa as a whole, but not nearly as diverse as some other areas in the nation. This is a fact of life here that could impact the way in which you feel about living in the community. If you like this video, you might like some of my other video content. I'll leave a couple of suggestions up on these end cards. Hey, it's been fun and I'll catch you later.